Hello everybody, this is Magical Witch and I am here to show you guys an awesome spell that you guys can do at home. This is a love and return, okay? What you're going to need for this spell is a love, it could be a rose incense or a love incense, doesn't matter. But it has to be something that has to do with love. So love incense sticks or rose, jasmine, um, lavender if you want. Anything, anything that has to do with love, okay? So I have here a rose incense, black or bl black marker or a black pen. You're going to need a red ribbon, has to be ribbon, okay? You're going to need a white plain piece of paper. You're going to need a plain jar. Make sure it doesn't have any designs or anything like that. You're going to need water. And you're going to need a red candle already light up before your spell. Okay, so I turned it on already. Okay, so what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to make a circle. You're going to take your jar. Okay, and you're going to make a circle. All right, you're going to make your circle and with your circle, you're going to let's remove all this extra. That way it doesn't interfere. Okay. All right, you're going to take your circle, you're going to rub it, rub your hands with it. This circle looks all cricket, but you know, <laughs> just doing an example. It was, I was doing it, then it would have been straight. Okay, rub, 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 put your energy into this. And as you're doing this, you are going to be saying that the person, you're going to say the person's name, John Doe, you will return to me. You will come back to me. You will love me. You will think of me. You will call me. You will look for me. You will text me, whatever it is, your intentions, guys. It's your spell, okay? Whatever it is that you want to say to your loved one, okay? There you go. Now we made a circle. There we go, okay? Boom. Then you are going to take your marker, and you're going to write the person's full name and date of birth, okay? So I'm going to put John Doe, and his birthday is January 6, 1976, let's just say, okay? That's how it's going to look. The person's full name and their date of birth, okay? Then you're going to take your jar. And you are going to place it inside, okay? Like so, all right? Then you're going to take your incense. Okay. And you're going to pass it inside the jar. And you're going to be chanting for like at least a minute. Okay, put in your intentions, John Doe, you will come to me, you will return back with me, you will forget about the fight that we ever had, you're going to miss me, you're going to be thinking about me, wherever you at, you're going to realize that you miss me and that you will come back to me. Okay, and then after you do that, you're going to say, speak your intentions, speak your intentions, speak your intentions, keep speaking your intentions for at least a minute. You will return to me, and when you do, you will come to me asking me for forgiveness, that you want to work things back, you know, you want to work things out with me, that you want to give this relationship a second chance, 
you know, whatever it is that you want to say, okay? After you do that, you are going to close, making sure that that smoke is in there. You're going to close it up and you're going to set it to the side really quick, okay? And you're going to put your incense somewhere where it doesn't bother you, all right? So let's set this to the side really quick. All right. All right. So now you are going to be working with the ribbon. Now the ribbon, like I said, your hands have a lot of energy. You place it in your ribbon. Okay. Put all that energy in your ribbon. Okay. After you do that. You're going to take your ribbon, you're going to put your name. So you're going to start off as I, Jane, I'm going to say Jane Doe, but you're going to put your name, I, Jane Doe, want. Then you're going to put his name, John Doe, to return, turn to me, with love. Whatever you want to put, okay, guys? This is just an example. I'm just putting an example with love, respect, respect, faithful. To come back lovable. So you can put, I want him to come back lovable, faithful, and never leave me again. But you're going to use your own words, okay? Me again. Then after you write whatever you want from your petition, you are going to write three times. So, moat it be. So, moat it be. Again, so mo it be. Okay? So three times. Three times. So mo it be. Ooh. Hold on. Three times. Okay? So mo it be. So mo it be. So mo it be. Okay? Now, you're going to open up your jar. Look at that. <laughs> and wherever you wrote your petition, first, you're going to take your candle. You're going to put some wax in the middle, like so. Okay. And you are going to take your ribbon. And you're going to place it on the bottom, touching the wax. This takes a process, guys, okay? Right there in the middle. In the wax. Like so. Okay? It's going to look just like that. All right, guys? Just like that. All right? And then you're going to add your water. And then you don't have to fill it up, okay? And then you're going to close this up. All right? Now you're going to take your ribbon, all right? And you are going to make three knots, okay? 
And in the three knots, you are going to say, John Doe, the person's name, come to me. That's the first knot. John Doe, come to me. John Doe, come to me. Okay? And you're going to set it off like this. Leave it just like that. Okay? You're going to take your candle. Let me get, I don't want to get no wax. You're going to set your candle. And you're going to add some wax on the three knots that you have done. And you're going to say, so mo it be. Okay. Like so. Okay. All right. And you're going to let the candle you're gonna set the candle up like this. Or next to it, okay? Make sure that it doesn't crab the ribbon. You can place it even on the top if you want. I usually like to place it on the top, okay? I like to place it on the top, the red candle, all right? If you have like rose crystals, you can put rose crystals around it. It doesn't matter if you have rose buds. Like I'm going to put some rose buds on it, you know, just so, you know, just for the universe to grab, make it more a love spell. So you can just place... That's if you want. You don't have to do this, okay? That's if you want to put some rose petals, you could, around the jar, okay? After you do that all around the jar, this is optional. You don't have to do this. If you don't have rose, pe rose petals, don't stress it. But if you want to do that, you can put rose quartz. You can put rose petals around the jar. It's up to you. Okay? <clears throat> and you're going to let this burn down. Okay? And you're going to repeat this three times. The candle. Just add the candle three times. Okay? After you do that and the candle burns down, you're going to take the jar and you're going to bury it. Where are you going to bury it? Wherever you want to bury it at. In your front yard, in your backyard. If you don't have a front in your backyard, in a park somewhere next to a tree. Okay? Um, I know that is winter. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that is winter. So you can, um, like... Like I said, pick any tree. It doesn't matter because in the in the in the fall or in the summertime it starts to bloom again. So it doesn't matter. So take a trunk, you know, take find a tree, um, and bury it right there where the tree is at. Okay, in front of the trunk of the tree. All right. Um, and that is it, y'all. This is a love and return. Do it exactly how I show you guys. Repeat this candle three times, okay, with the incense, all right? And you can chant with this and speak your intention, speak your intention, speak your intention, speak your intention, you know, what you want this person to do, come back to you, return to you, text you, call you, message you, to come to you, to report to you, to, you know, whatever it is, okay? Whatever you want to chant is your spell, okay? And after you do that with the incense, you place the incense down. You can place it right next to the spell, just like so. And make sure that the ribbon is not touching it, okay? And 
you do this every day for three days, okay? Three days, you do this. After the third day, you're going to bury the jar, okay? So three incense, three candles. Every day, you light it up and you speak your intentions. You ask your ancestors, your guardian angel, the mother universe, the goddess of love to help you bring this person back, all right? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please hit that like button. Those of you who haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh, hit that like button, share my videos, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Those of you who are interested in any of my spells or any of my bracelets, oils, herbs, spell kits, you can reach me at magicalwitch777 at gmail.com. That is magicalwitch. 777 at gmail.com. Also, I have an Instagram, so you can reach me at Julie Magical Witch. Blessed be everybody. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.